I want to talk to you about what is happening with countryman Songo and what he thinks about Otaru becoming the next Black Stars head coach. To watch this video first before we get started, guys. Let's go. Otaru Besabe coach be my you need to wait trainer scout on your dear dear. And I could see up here, see a pegan and he coach there. And I could see up here. Money in a two escunusu. What does he coach? And I own our experience in the bibri would him the any chance to add the bibri. Ah. And then go on and in Gucci. Upia pa on Gucci, let me say yes or no. Forget about Sandy Pano, Osu on Yadia, Osi, a ye, what criticizing, or what's so, or ye, dear, so ye, whatever. And ye cook away a name. And a Bible, no more catch on, said Bible, quack at your sequasianes and agony. Who was any punish ya, dear? A conanima. It may be a care mono. Na or can a money place. I day abre and son were the top players abum ababa bobo at this time was sweet. Now what is any panel? A credentials, a one no ma at two war, a de to two, a you to add near see a pe gun and near see a pe gun and near cat. Change nine to gun and you to add to pan a fit for blasters job. See, I see a pegan in here. Change now, and you would want an effort for Blaster's job. No, no, no. See, I see a pegan in me, gun in here, Kuchia. Me, you would want to, and here a yazi, a yi, a kosia piano kresi in China. Utuado, Missako Fanny Babaka. No, me, a kosia pianist in China. Utuado, Enka. Maso Knodi, you good channel. Ebu Budi. Media ma coach in your say. I do tea. a good channel. A cab Ghana coach in Kuwa, say Ghana coach. Seb Ghana coach in Kuwa, yam for me be new coach ya. Siki, a good channel. Even Karim Zitu. Meboa mun can tell me. Even Karim Zitu. A good channel. Na se wo fa gane ni ene ye si em fa gane ni no onkuta blasters muka kranka kra. Na wo fa gane ni ya. Fa gane ni preko. Preko no ne ye. Kocha. O nim gana ye style of play o wo experience no. O nim African terrain se ni ebe ya afkon wo beti mi abo abo. Kocha se ni ebe timi di wo mungi na sivi. Agwa zi api ase wa bo african cup afkon edu semi finals me bo aka kire bi o ti na me ka cho na se eti se ye di wo mu nyina civis beto ye di wo mu nyina civis e beto gana coaches no o ta e ka local coach se gana ni a wo experience nim coach pa eni o tuado nka ho no wa ko fo o tuado asa ko fa midland fo nko fo ni bo ati ye o ma Woman and I'm home. You understand? And then come to me, I could see up your mouth. Nimmy can him zito. I can home and I thank you. So basically, we all know how Chris Uting became the manager of the Black Stars of Ghana. We we're told by Atapuku on several occasions that it was the government of Ghana that really appointed Chris Uting to become the manager of the Black Stars of Ghana. And before Chris Uting became the coach of the Black Stars of Ghana, he was the technical director of the Black Stars of Ghana, the, the technical team that went to Qatar 2022. Chris Uting became the manager of the Black Stars and he got sacked, I mean, eventually. He played three games at the AFCON and he drew two and he lost one. And because of that, he was sacked. I mean, the Blacks of Ghana didn't get a win at the AFCON. And he was sacked in January. And ever since then, we've not, the Blacks of Ghana hasn't had a coach. I mean, and Ghana is going to play friendly matches. And as of now, there's no coach. So that leads us to the search of a new manager. So Patrick Oseajeman, who's known as Countryman Zungo, is one of the biggest and the prominent uh, figures when it comes to talking about Ghana football in the Ghanaian media space. And he's come out to say that when we, if we are looking for 
a Ghanaian coach to go the blast of Ghana now. We should go for Kasiapia over Otaro. And in the video that I played, he said that he likes, uh, he will even choose Max Okunodu ahead of Otaro. He will choose uh, Siki Akuna ahead of Otaro. He will choose Ibrahim Tango ahead of, of ahead of Otaro. Yeah, he will choose Karim Zitu as the head coach over uh, Otaro. And he emphatically states that Otaro is not the best manager for the Blasts of Ghana. And if we really want a, a good manager for the Blasts of Ghana, we need to go back for Kwesiapia. That's what he's saying in the video. Honestly, Coach Kwesiapia as Black Stars head coach, I mean, I think he did a very good job. Um, in 2009, yes, 2009, Coach Kwesiapia was the assistant coach of the Blasters of Ghana. Yes, 2010 at the World Cup, he was the assistant coach to Milovan Rajevac. 2012 at the AFCON, he was, assist was the assistant coach to Blavi, that is Goran Stevanovic. He's been assistant coach and then he was promoted also to play the qualifiers. And he qualified Ghana Black Stars to the World Cup in 2014. And in 2014, we all knew what happened. Ghana wasn't able to qualify from the group stages. And I mean, he was sacked. He came back again uh, after Aram Grant came and Kusiapia played a semi final to, for the Black Stars of Ghana. I mean, in 2017 and 2019, Ghana played the Afghan in Egypt and we weren't able to qualify to the uh, quarterfinals. We were kicked out in round of 16 with the Samoja issues and all that. And one of the best things that Kuchiapia did in his time as a Black Stars head coach was the introduction of new talent. As for that, I'll give it to him. Like he was always he was always calling these young players, giving them a chance. Even now, a lot of the players that we are talking about now, when it comes to the likes of Gideon Mensa and the likes of Mohamed Kudus, the likes of Thomas Ter Party, the, the likes of Nicolas Opoku, the likes of Joseph Edu. Like the team really was, is really a team that is that is built by him. Like he has a signature on his team. And it's something that we really have to say because he's in for he gives a chance for the case to have or the, for the case to get time to play for the Blast of Ghana. And at the point I even saw a video where he was saying that he was the one who invited Mohamed Kudus to play for the Black Stars. And when he invited them at the time, the new FA now was rejecting the proposal for him to play with Mohamed Kudus. And he insisted on bringing Kudus and Kudus Mohamed has been a bit play now, honestly. But when it comes to tactics on the on the field of play, look, I have watched Kusi Apea for 10 years. I, I watched, I was fortunate to watch Kusi Apea throughout his time as Blaster head coach. Look, I've watched over 90% of the games. Kusi Apea's tactics, trust me, let's be very honest, Kusi Apea was just no, was just no good tactically. I think the last time I checked, Kusi Apea as a senior manager of the Blaster of Ghana never beat an European coach. Yes, you can check it. Never. One thing that really hurt me was the Ghana versus the United States game in the 2014 World Cup when we were playing in the United States. And we, you know, we're in those days, we were considering very early goals. And we considered an early goal against um, Clint Dempsey. Yes, Clint Dempsey scored an early goal. And then, instead of, we, we had so many attackers on the bench. I try and bring them on the pitch. He was saying, he said he wanted to wait for his for the United States team, team to get tired before he brings on his best players. That was what he was saying. And I think there were videos where he was even saying that he doesn't even, be, he doesn't even believe in taxes. Yes, because he's happier. And I like his personality. I think he's a very good coach. I think he's done so well for himself. But you know, Kusiapia coach the prime coach prime black stars. He had Michael Isian, he had Sule Muntari, he had uh, uh, Koya Samoa, he had Asanguja, he had Ajima Bedu, he had he had so many players and he also had he also added a lot of players to his team. So for Kusiapia, he was good when it comes to scouting players. I remember very well that I think around 2014 World Cup where there was this controversy about where Kuja Samoa should play. People were saying Kuja Samoa's best position was supposed to be playing behind Asamujan. And Kusiapia insisted that he was supposed to play left back. It was an argument we had in Ghana for a long time. Anybody who followed Ghana football at the time really remembers this discussion. Then let's also talk about Utaro. So Utaro became the coach of the Black Stars, but you see, when he, when he became the manager or the interim manager for the Blasters of Ghana going to the World Cup, he played 12 games. In the 12 games, he had four draws, four wins, and four losses. Four draws, four wins, and four losses. But if you really watch our gameplay with Otaro, Ghana beat South Korea under Otaro, three goals to two. Let me tell you, Chris Hilton can't beat South Korea with the Blasters of Ghana. The problem I have with Otaro is the control with the control with the FE. But if you watch the gameplay, if what he does with, with his players, the tactics displayed, or the formation, if you doubt me, go and watch the second half of Ghana vs Nigeria when we're playing that, that crucial World Cup qualifier. She so gets me. Without beat Madagascar 3-0, 3-0, yes. And now we can't even be Comoros. 
she gets me you ought to really did very well as blasters head coach in his first term but one thing that people don't know is Otaru was the same guy arguably because he has the best game for Ghana best game was the game that we played 2-2 versus Egypt versus Germany who did that scouting when for Kusiapia it was Otaru in that game we, we dominated Germany we played tactically very good and it was the work of Otaru and if he was a scout in 2014 is he still a scout in 2024 Otaru was, was the same guy that developed Jaden Sancho at Borussia Dortmund that, that developed uh, the likes of um, Karim Adeyemi Helen Haaland this plenty players he gets it and even the best the best we've seen of Mohamed Kulis we saw we saw it under Otaru let Otaru be the manager of the Blasters of Ghana let him let him work because Kusiapia is very good when it comes to scouting players because Otaru is also very good when it comes to tactical gameplay tactical gameplay and if anybody watched the Portugal game Ghana versus Portugal how we made sure we held the Portuguese team it was until Cristiano Ronaldo got that penalty kick and everything got spot he get it and the Uruguay game too if you really watch that game too you realize that it was this emotional thing that really destroyed it. we're probably going to win that game too against Uruguay and how it had you get it so what was the point my point Give it to Otaru, give him time. I think Otaru for himself has done well. And Otaru deserves this chance on on permanent basis. Allow him to work. Allow him to call more players. Allow him to show us what we do. Let me tell you, Otaru cannot qualify to the World Cup. But if you are going for any foreign coach, no problem. But if you are looking for a Ghanaian coach, I think Otaru is the best coach. You are going for uh, Kusiapia to be a coach now. Because Kusiapia is the coach of Sudan. Yes, he's the coach of Sudan now. So let Kusiapia do his work. And let Otaru, let Otaru come to Ghana. If there's any supervision, we are you can go to Kusiapia for advice. Clearly, Kusiapia has experience over him. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Best yet to come by for now.